With a new assembly created or an existing assembly open, the Design tab is available from the ribbon. In the Design tab is a large collection of tools that focus on using standards to help you develop the mechanical components you need for your assembly. The bolted connection is the first of these. The bolted connection generator allows you to place a combination of fasteners and the holes required to retain them and allow them to pass through parts in several different placement configurations as through holes or blind holes. The process is fairly straightforward and the dialog does a good job of walking you through it. To begin a bolted connection, we'll select a start plane. We'll choose the bottom of this recess on the top. The next thing you need is a circular reference when using the concentric placement. Find a rounded edge or face, and then you'll need to select a blind start plane. This will be the top of the last object the series of holes needs to pass through in order to create a threaded hole. We'll choose this face. It will show us that it's going to create a single ISO drilled hole with a normal clearance at 6.6 .6 millimeters through the first part, and then an ISO drilled hole that is threaded with an M6 by one pitch in the second part. If you had additional parts, it would offer additional holes. An option within the design accelerator is to do a calculation. You can do multiple types of calculation, including a bolt diameter design. Entering the values that you want, click Calculate, and it will tell you what the nominal diameter needs to be. Going back to the Design tab, you can select Click to add a fastener, and it will go into the large library and seek out fasteners that can offer you an M6 thread. After a moment, a list of those threads will appear. You can sort by standard. You can sort by the type of bolt you're looking for. For example, you may say that you want a socket head bolt. And it will further filter the list for only the bolts that could be applied. I'll choose an ISO 4762. I can then choose click to add fastener again. And the system will generate a list of washers. I'll choose the ISO 7092, and it will preview in the window. Zooming in more closely, we can see that the bolt is displayed, and we can even use the handle to drag the length of the bolt, and it will snap to standard positions. We can also drag the depth of the hole to a custom depth if we like. We can double click put a specific value in. One thing that's often overlooked when using the bolted connection generator with a concentric placement is the ability to return to circular reference and add additional circular references. So going around the outside of this part and selecting all six placements for this bolted connection. With everything in place, we can click OK. It will let us know that it's generating files. It will place the clearance holes in the top and threaded holes in the base and add the fasteners. Now if I want to make a modification to the bolted connection, all I have to do is right click on one of the members and select Edit Using Design Accelerator and it will bring back the same dialog box. I can choose to use a different type of fastener. Going to a hex headed bolt, I'll use an ISO 4016. And I can also choose a different washer if I need to, perhaps switching to a 7089. You'll also notice that the bolt is significantly longer. This particular bolt does not come in a shorter length than 30. 
This will also help you be aware that certain fasteners have limits on their standard sizes. Clicking OK will update the fasteners and the assembly. 